Five Nights at Freddy's is known for three things. One, for having a never-ending confusing lore. Two, scary jump scares. And three, crazy challenge modes. Some of these challenge modes make the game more difficult than others. In this video, I'll be ranking every FNAF game based on difficulty. I won't be ranking Ultimate Custom Night because obviously it would be number one due to it be created as a challenge. Also the VR and AR parts will make this list. Also FNAF World or Freddy in Space and Furious Rage will make it. Now, let's get on with the rankings. Right after Friday's 3 is fairly simple due to it only having one character who can actually kill you each night. Springtrap is easily manageable to keep back if you know how to play the game well. This game in its entirety is also fairly short because night 1, nothing actually happens. There's only no custom night as well so it's just nightmare mode and aggressive nightmare mode to worry about as challenges. When I play this game, I find it very easy and beat it flawlessly. Also the secrets to the minigames are very easy to get. FNAF 3 just needed more possible characters to die to to possibly make it slightly harder. For how good Friday Night at Freddy's 1 is, it's really easy to complete. I played it recently on stream and managed to do nights 1 through 7 only die once due to me being distracted. You just have to follow a simple pattern of checking the left door, flip up your camera to the right east hall corner, and then checking the right side. Never really had to check Foxy due to a system called camera stalling which makes Friday Night at Freddy's 1 a lot easier. Back then, it used to be hard because no one knew about cam stalling, but now it's very easy to complete. Although I haven't finished playing this game, I find it to be pretty simple because it isn't really free roam as FNAF Security Breach, so not all the animatronics can kill you at once, which makes it more manageable. Also, the character MXES can't even kill you, so that makes it less likely for you to actually die in this game. The actual mechanics in this game aren't that hard as well. Using the fast wrench is pretty simple to use, and also disabling security nodes aren't that bad either. The puzzle that I give is literally for made for babies. The only time I probably died in ruins is because I fell off the ledge during the Monty part. I don't expect to die much afterwards either. This game definitely has a little more challenge because you have to have great listening skills to hear any breathing at all. Sometimes it could be hard when there are other sounds that are louder than the breathing, but most of the time you can hear it. Freddy, Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie are actually the hardest parts of the game. It's actually plus trap. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's both Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare who made this game challenging. Their patterns of what doors they appear at are super random so you never know. Plus, when they laugh, it usually indicates that they're in the room, but the laugh can be fake sometimes. If the laugh is real, you have to check the, your bed or the closet. If the laugh is fake, you can check the bed or the closet. We'll pretty much say goodnight because Fredbear and or Nightmare are going to kill you. Other than that, it's not that hard, and plus it makes the game a lot easier because if you hit him perfectly on the X, he'll give you 2 hours skip to the next night. There are a lot of parts to find to Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator that make the game very challenging. The main challenge is just balancing risk when buying anything in your pizzeria. You need to have some risk or side with some animatronics to get the completion ending, which isn't too hard of a certificate to unlock. The other certificates, however, could be a little harder to get. Insanity requires you to purchase Egg Baby, which costs a lot. Lorekeeper requires you to find the secrets in the Security Puppet, Fruity Maze, and Midnight Motors Purchable Minigames. Bankruptcy speaks for itself. Mediocrity, you have to do nothing. But lastly, you have the blacklisted ending. You have to try to get 50 risk on everything in your pizzeria and win to get the certificate, which is super difficult to actually do. I myself have gotten every certificate except for this one because just trying to get to 50 risk in itself is difficult, let alone try to win. This location has a lot of small challenges which make the game very interesting. For starters, I believe that Night 4 is one of the hardest nights in all of Fires of Freddy's because you have to wind up spring locks for 3 whole minutes while mini mage crawl up on you, and trust me, it ain't easy. The other nights aren't too bad, they can get a bit challenging, but if you just have enough patience, it's easy to get it done. Next challenges we have in the game is the minigame. For some reason, I had trouble completing this minigame, and I don't know why. I just couldn't do it. Thankfully, I did it, but it took many tries. Next challenge is trying to beat Entered. Yeah, because that was another pain to do. I'm surprised how little tries it took me, however, because when I did it on mobile, it took me weeks to months to do it, probably. Lastly, we have Custom Night. The random challenges they gave aren't that bad, but going Freddy mode here is fairly difficult. I managed to beat it on easy difficulty, but no higher than that. I prefer it over FNAF 2's Golden Freddy mode because it's simpler and more enjoyable. Now, people may see this one ranked and are very confused on why Final Fantasy Freddy's security breach was ranked so high. This one was definitely personal, and that is because I think this game is extremely difficult only for the fact that it's super buggy. There were so many glitches in this game that actually pissed me off from my very core. There were times I couldn't progress in certain parts of the game, had to delete save files, and glitch through parts of the map to actually beat the game. It was super annoying I had to do this. Also, the game doesn't help with telling you where to go. This place is large and all free room, but they don't give me any clues on which direction I'm supposed to be heading. So I wasted a lot of time just looking for where I had to go at all. 
Stat pots were scattered everywhere, so it's hard to move anywhere, and the main animatronics were very persistent, in which they wouldn't leave you alone that easily in some parts. Next some missions I had to do weren't that hard at all. Only one I may have struggled on was doing the decommissioning Roxy quest, but that's because the entirety of DG Music Command section actually just glitched. Also, although I didn't have to do major size, but it was obscenely difficult to do for some reason, and I don't know why. This game needs to be fixed up some more still. This game takes the cake for being the most difficult in the Final Freddy series. Although when I played Final Freddy's 2, I managed to beat through night 1 through 6, pretty much no problem, maybe die maybe probably once or twice. I still find it is the hardest game out there. There are way too many animatronics in this game to make the game less scary and more challenging. I understand why they added all the toy animatronics and wither ones, but Balloon Boy seemed utterly useless to me. And don't get me started on the puppet. Possibly my most hated character in all of the Final Freddy's games. If the puppet wasn't in the game, the game would have been a hundred times easier because there wouldn't be a use to check the cameras at all. You just have to check on Foxy down the hall. They should have gave Foxy a similar mechanic as FNAF 1 where you had to check on him in the cam to make the cam useful, make the game harder but not make you want to smash your head into the monitor. People say to this day that going in Friday mode on this game is still one of the hardest Final Fantasy challenges because of how much luck it is involved which is very annoying. That's why I rank this game to be the most difficult Final Fantasy game. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I would appreciate it heavenly. I want to make more videos like this in the future, so if you have any ideas on what I should rank next, please put it in the comments down below. See you guys in another video.